Today, we're diving into three of the strangest aircraft ever built, each with a unique vision, but not quite the success they hoped for. From flying barrels to parasite fighters, and even a demon-inspired agricultural jet, welcome to a world of bizarre aviation. Our journey begins in 1930s Italy, a time of burgeoning aviation innovation. Engineer Luigi Stipa envisioned an aircraft harnessing the very air around it for unprecedented efficiency. His creation, the Stipa Caproni, was unlike anything the world had ever seen. Imagine a plane resembling a giant flying barrel, its propeller nestled within a large duct. This, Stipa believed, was the key to unlocking new levels of aerodynamic performance. The Stipa Caproni, with its unusual design, did indeed take flight. Test pilots were astounded by its stability at low speeds and its remarkable rate of climb. However, its stubby, barrel-like fuselage created significant drag at higher speeds, negating the efficiencies Steeper had worked so hard to achieve. The dream, sadly, did not translate into reality. The Steeper Caproni proved too inefficient for practical use and was ultimately shelved. But the story doesn't end there. Its pioneering concept of a ducted fan would later inspire jet engine designs, proving that even the most unusual ideas can leave a lasting impact on the world. The year is 1945. World War II is coming to a close. The United States unveils its latest strategic asset, the Convair B-36 Peacemaker. This behemoth of a bomber capable of carrying an atomic payload could fly across continents, striking fear into the hearts of America's adversaries. Yet there was a problem. The B-36, for all its might, was vulnerable to enemy interceptors, lacking an escort fighter with comparable range. Enter the McDonnell XF-85 Goblin, a truly bizarre solution to a complex problem. Conceived as a parasite fighter, the Goblin was a miniature jet designed to be carried within the bomb bay of the B-36. Imagine this tiny, almost comical-looking fighter, dwarfed by its mothership, ready to launch at a moment's notice to defend the bomber from enemy attacks. The Goblin, devoid of traditional landing gear, was designed to dock with the bomber in mid-air using a trapeze-like mechanism, a maneuver as audacious as it was dangerous. While the concept seemed sound on paper, the reality proved far more challenging. Docking with the bomber, even under ideal conditions, was incredibly difficult, requiring almost superhuman levels of precision from the pilot. The turbulence created by the B-36's massive wings made the docking procedure even more treacherous. The project, once brimming with promise, was deemed too risky and impractical. The XF-85 Goblin, a testament to wartime ingenuity, was relegated to the annals of aviation history. Our final destination takes us to the Polish People's Republic in the 1970s, a time of Cold War tensions and an insatiable demand for agricultural output. It was here that a truly bizarre aircraft took to the skies, the PZL M-15 Belfagor. Named after a demon, the Belfigore's appearance alone was enough to raise eyebrows. Imagine a jet engine strapped between the wings of a biplane, its twin booms extending rearward like the horns of some infernal beast. This Frankensteinian design was conceived to address a very specific need, the aerial spraying of crops at ultra-low altitudes. The Belfigore's jet engine provided the power needed to carry heavy loads of fertilizers and pesticides, while its biplane configuration offered exceptional low-speed stability and maneuverability. Yet, the Belfigore's unusual appearance, coupled with its smoky exhaust and low-altitude flight patterns, quickly earned it a sinister reputation. Rumors spread like wildfire. Some whispered that the Belfagore was not an agricultural aircraft at all, but a secret weapon designed to disperse chemical or biological agents over enemy territory. Despite its intimidating appearance, the Belfagore was a relatively benign machine designed to improve agricultural yields. However, its operational life was short-lived. The collapse of the Soviet Union, coupled with the availability of more efficient agricultural aircraft, led to the Belfigore's premature retirement. From the ducted fan dreams of the Stipa Caproni to the parasite fighter that never quite fit in, 
and a demon-inspired crop duster, these aircraft may not have changed aviation forever, but they've certainly earned their place in history, for better or for weirder. If you enjoyed this look into the world of experimental aviation, hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating stories from the skies. Thanks for watching.